Hello, welcome to this online assembly. Today we are going to discuss the importance of working scientifically. Working scientifically? This means understand, as understanding nature, purposes and method of science. First we must ask a question. Like which of these materials will keep my drink warm for the longest period of time? Or how will the brightness of a bulb be affected in different types of circuits? We must then devise an investigation that tests these questions. Here we have some cups. Each is covered in a different material. Some are man-made like cling film. While others are natural like cotton wool. This is our control cup. It is left bare and we use it to compare our results against it. We are going to pour warm water into each cup and then check the temperature every two minutes. We will use the thermometers to uh, to take the temperature. Their unit is degrees Celsius. This is um work, this is us working scientific working scientifically observing over time. Here we have created a simple circuit. It consists of two wires connecting one battery on or cell, whose symbol on the diagram looks like this, and one light bulb whose symbol looks like this. So our simple circuit is now drawn like this. We will now experiment on this circuit. This is working scientifically, comparative and fair testing. But we have to be sure our investigations are going to be fair. Fair? Yes, if we change lots of things in our investigations, we won't know which change caused the results. In science investigations, changes are called variables. So we must only have one variable per investigation. The rest of the investigation must remain the same. The variables in this investigation are the different materials. So how many things in this investigation can you name that have to be the same for each cup to make this investigation fair? Can teachers please pause the video and ask the class to name as many as possible? So how many did you get? To make this investigation fair, we are going to use the same size of cups. The same temperature of water in each cup. And the same amount of water in each cup. And keeping the cup in the same environment. If we took a cup outside, then it would be much cooler. Therefore, the investigation would be unfair. We should make safety a priority too. Priority? This means to give something great importance. Always get an adult to help. For this investigation, we are only going to use warm water, not boiling water. Boiling water will scold your skin if the cup fell over. For this one, for this one, we are going to make sure that our equipment is not damaged. We will also be respectful to the equipment. Damaged equipment or misuse of it could cause electric shocks or overheating. We are ready to begin, but just before we start our investigations. Hi! Remember us from the last video? We, plan we planted the runner bean seeds. Well, a month has passed and as you can see, the, se the seed has germinated and, and has grown. Roots are developing as well as the stem. In a few months, it will grow big enough to, to grow its own seed and the cycle will start all over again. Sorry for the interruption. Back to working scientifically. Bye. Bye. Okay, let's begin our investigations. Our starting temperature for all of our cups is 50 degrees Celsius. We will record this on our table. We will now add a second battery to our circuit. Will this change the brightness of the bulb? Could teachers please ask the pupils what they predict will happen? Yes, the bulb has become brighter. Two minutes 
gone. Let's take the temperature of the water in each again. One, once again, recording it. Okay, this time we are going to add another bulb to our simple circuit. Could teachers please pause the video and ask the pupils what they predict will happen? Yes, the bulb has become dimmer. Two more minutes gone. And two more. And two more. And two more. This is a series circuit. electricity flows round and round. But what if we were to add branches to with other bulbs? This is called a parallel circuit and its diagram looks like this. Could teachers please pause the video and ask the pupils what they predict will happen? On this occasion, the bulbs stay the same brightness. Once we have our data, we must present it in the best way we can. This table is good, but this line graph is better. Other graphs like bar charts, pie charts, and scatter graphs would have been less suitable. Each different coloured line represents each of the temperatures of each cup. This line allows us to predict some results that we did not measure. For instance, we can tell the temperatures of the cups after three minutes even though we never measured their temperatures at this point. It also allows us to predict what may have happened had we continued the investigation. Could teachers please pause the videos and ask the pupils what they think the temperature will be after 12 minutes. We will always relate our science learning to real life. For instance, if we break our simple circuit, the light bulb goes out. When you switch a light off, you are also breaking the circuit. This is how lights work. Science inquiries should never end. We use our results and findings to ask further questions and pursue new scientific discoveries. For instance, now we know that from all materials, aluminium foam is the best materials to keep hot things hot. Does that mean it is the best at keeping cold things cold? And which materials are waterproof? All transparent. Or opaque. Or can be bent, squashed, twisted or stretched. Or magnetic. You know, okay, you know what's coming, quiz time. Could teachers please pause the video in between each question and ask any child with their hand up. What does this symbol mean? Correct, a cell or a battery. What letter beginning with V means changing investigation? A variable. What letters beginning with W and S mean na nature, process and method of science? Correct. Working scientifically. What symbol is this? That's right, a bulb. What circuit is this? A parallel circuit. Thank you for watching our assembly. And remember, stay curious.